we're going to continue with our media availabilities here at Talladega Super Speedway in advance of tomorrow's 1000bulbs.com 500. We are joined by Chase Elliott, driver of the number nine Napa Night Vision Lamps Chevrolet, who won last week at Dover and has locked himself into the next round of the playoffs. We will open it up to questions here for Chase. Start here with Bob. Uh, Bob Pockers, ESPN. You were a teammate of Casey Kane's for a couple of years. I'm curious how you view his announcement this week that he can't come back in the sense of does it concern you that there doesn't, they haven't been able to find a reason for why he's suffering these dehydration issues? Yeah, if you're hunting, uh, I'm not going to comment on his health much. I mean, that's not my place. And honestly, it's nobody's place in here but his. So we should probably leave that alone. Um, I think it's unfortunate that he's not able to come back. He's a friend of mine. And, um, you know, I want to be able to race with the guy. He's a racer and always has been, you know. So I hate that he couldn't do it on his own terms and, and decide that for himself. But as far as the health goes, man, it's not my place. And like I say, it's nobody's place in here. Continue with questions for Chase. Go to Dustin. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Chase, uh, obviously the, the, the first half of these playoffs have had a, a, a wide variety of tracks. After this weekend, three of the last five are mile and a half. So I know not every mile and a half is the same, but with having more of the similar type of tracks the second half of the playoffs, how might that change the complexion uh, of, of these playoffs um, compared to what we've seen so far the first half? Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's still real similar to what it's been the past few years. So I, I can't say that the complexion is completely different. You know, Martinsville, still a crucial race. I feel like, you know, being that first one and that next round, uh, I look at that one, you know, Kansas. I mean, all, all those places that, that are coming up. We got to test Kansas, which I thought was a good thing. So I, I just, yeah, I don't really see it having a different complexion. I think it's real similar to what we've had. Um, it's just, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I guess. And that, and that, that was what I yeah, just I think going back to places that we raced at once already this year is probably the big one, I guess, and, and having some history there from from a spring race to look at at the fall race upcoming. So, um, I'd say that's probably the biggest thing is is kind of being able to look back and how you ran that first race and see whether or not you've improved since you know since its respective date. Anything additional for Chase? We'll go in the back. <coughs> uh, Chase, hey, uh, Ben White with the Lexington Dispatch back here in the back. Just give me a thought of it. How much uh, history do you have you followed about your dad doing so well here at Talladega? And then what would it mean to you to add to that family history? Yeah, he's man, he had a had a great run here for sure. So I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I get you know the what would it mean question always arises, whether it's, you know, in reference to him or, or in general as to what, what it would mean to do this or that. And honestly, man, I don't know because I haven't done it. So um, until you're in those positions and you are able, if you are lucky enough to do something like that, I think you embrace it then uh, if you're able to pull it off. But I, I have no idea what it would mean because I've, I've never been there. We'll go to Jessica, then Dustin and Lee. Jessica Robbins, NASCAR.com. You know, coming in here with a win, you're safe going into the next round. Does it allow you to take a bit more chances when others are having to be kind of careful to preserve that spot? I think so. And in, in, in some situations, you know, and they're all kind of circumstantial. I'm not sure that it's uh, you know anything that you just know, hey, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and, and my day is going to be better than theirs. That's tough to say because you you always come here with the outlook to try to win and run good. You know, it doesn't always work out, or it usually doesn't work out for us, or it hasn't. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think you can you can certainly be aggressive, but everybody's going to be aggressive, and, and that's kind of the MO now. So I don't, um, it is nice, you know, just to not, you know, have to lose sleep over every point on Sunday, which I think is, uh, which is fantastic. And I've never really been in this position before. You know, my first two years, we were just barely making it in the, the first round, you know, to start the playoffs. So this is, uh, this is nice and encouraging and, uh, and we have some momentum and um, that's a great thing to have this time of year. So I'm looking forward to keeping it going. 
We're going to go back to Dustin, then Lee and Jonathan. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Chase, what is your responsibility to helping Alex potentially get in, and what is your responsibility to your, your team and, and doing what you need to do? Yeah, I think you <laughs> you certainly have to weigh that out. You know, I know that if, if I was in his position, I would certainly want, you know, at least my teammates not to hurt my effort. You know, and you don't want to impede that progress. Um, but I feel like the boss has always kind of been uh, a race win guy, and I don't think he's ever going to let, you know, something like that pull me out of a potential contention to win or, you know, me laying over to let him win. I mean, that, that stuff is – to me, never really been the, the topic of conversation at Hendrick since I've been there. and um, But I, I think the topic will probably be more along the lines of just try not to hurt one another and, and try to help him when we can. And I'm certainly open to doing that. I, you know, if he's if he can move on as well, that does nothing but help all of us, you know, in our company. So, um, yeah, I hope he hope he makes it. We'll go to Lee. Lee Spencer, Racing Boys. Chase, um, Alex was in here earlier, and he said it's been really difficult for the Chevrolets to get together and get a train going the way the Fords have in the past or the Toyotas in the, have in the past. Do you, first of all, do you have a theory on that? I don't, really. I, I, <clears throat> I've seen that strategy and, and those things. You know, we've seen it work, and we've also, I feel like, seen it kind of hurt those guys that, that do that. And... and um, and play those games. So I'm not sure. You know, there's certainly an art to it. Um, you know, I look at, you know, I look at the other manufacturers and, and the things they've done. I feel like we've, I feel like we've done it though. Really, I mean, we've we've given it a shot. You know, a time or two. Um, but like I said, I, I think if you don't do it the right way, if you're not careful, it can it can hurt you worse than it can help you. Do you think we'll see some of the Hendrick drivers practicing drafting together uh, today? during the session yeah we, we plan on running together just because you know nobody really likes to run a whole lot anymore and just having this one practice today I, I think you'll just see some guys line up and and run with their teammates or whatever so um yeah we, we have a plan to just go make some laps and we kind of have what we have anyway so we'll uh try not to hit each other or crash one another and, and finally how do you think darian grubb will help hendrick motorsports moving into his new role as technical director thank you yeah, I've, al <laughs> well, I've always had a lot of respect for Darian, and he's been nothing but nice to me. Um, haven't worked with him as far as a crew chief perspective, but, you know, I know uh, I feel like we all gained a lot of respect for him the year he and Tony went and, and did what they did in, in 11, and uh, certainly a very sharp guy. He was in a similar role before he became crew chief this year, and, and I felt like I was, uh, he was always a guy I could go lean on, ask questions to, and he'd be honest and answer and give him you know give me his opinion straight up and uh, I've always liked that about him so I expect it to be the same next year in his new role and I think he'll do just fine anything final for Chase all right Chase thanks for joining us good luck tomorrow thank you